Alright guys, so very, very exciting unboxing today. Uh, I have ordered a PlayStation VR, that's right. Um, I'm not normally a typical gamer, but when my cousin built this when I was in the Midlands on my holiday, I had a go on it, it was amazing. So I decided to get one from Argos. Um, I've just been sat at the window like a dog, waiting for Yodel, because um, I hate waiting for stuff, and on their website you can track it, and it tells me I'm the next delivery, so it is here. It was the kind of time I was expecting anyway, as I do work at Tesco's around the corner, I know they are pretty good at coming at the same time. So anyway guys, let's have a look in this box. Now, for people who don't know what VR is, it's uh, virtual reality, and basically I have got this for my PlayStation 4. Um, I've ordered a game, I've ordered one of the best games available for it, which is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which is very, very scary. Uh, so straight away you've got your thank you for shopping at Argos, which is fine. Got some bubble wrap, and got the content itself. Now, um, I could have got it delivered last night, but unfortunately the game I don't think was in stock. So it's had to come from elsewhere, but that's fine by me. So in the box we have got three packages. Um, one is the camera. You do need this to play, the VR. Uh, it's not very well publicised. It is on the box, uh, but as we learnt when we were in the Midlands, if you don't have this, you can't work, because this is what tracks the lights on the VR so it knows where you are. So this is a very important accessory which you do need. Uh, this is the VT version, but it, uh, my understanding is it does work uh, with the first edition camera as well. But as you can see, PlayStation VR ready. So that's that, we'll put that aside for a second. Then we've got the game itself. So Resident Evil VR compatible, awesome game by the look of it. And then we've got the bad boy itself. PlayStation VR, this is just a stock kit, there's no bundle with it whatsoever. Um, yeah, you've got a demo disc inside it, which is pretty cool. Uh, on the back, it tells you a little bit more about it, so it includes a free demo disc with some games. Kind of gives you the content, which we'll go through in just a second. So just move this box that it came with out of the way, and let's concentrate on the game pieces. So we're going to unbox every single one of these. Um, and yeah, pretty exciting stuff. So let me just come round, makes it a bit easier to unbox. And then we'll set it up and show you kind of the walkthrough process of getting everything set up, because there is quite a lot of wires, unfortunately, involved with this system. Um, but once you get it set up, uh, it's definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. So, zoom in a little bit. Let's go. So camera so this bit uh, is important uh, so this you can position where you want but it does have to be kind of two meters within range of the VR headset which is fine so we're just going to unbox this uh, we'll do it as we go along and we'll set it up as we go along so if I just box in a box pretty straightforward it's just going to be a box um, it's always impossible to open these kind of boxes Good job, we have a nice sharp knife. There we go, so it opens from the side. I'm just gonna pull it out. Camera. Stand. So those are the only two bits you get in there. We are gonna set it up, so I will show you it in light action. Uh, the USB cable in particular on this one does go into the back of the PS4. Uh, because obviously there is only two USB ports on the PlayStation. Uh, one is currently taken up for me on my uh, external hard drive there. Uh, now that we've got support uh, for external storage, which is great. I'll zoom in a bit, there we go. So yeah, um, so, and I know the VR kit itself does require uh, one USB port, so both of my USB ports are going to be vacant, uh, used. Thankfully, it uses the back. Now, I'm probably going to position this on top of my TV, as my stand is relatively low, which you'll see in a minute, and my little girl, unfortunately, is crawling, and then all she will want to do is eat it. That's the PlayStation camera itself, pretty snazzy. It's got, obviously, 
various icons. Uh, you've got your PlayStation logo just there, and obviously you've got your two cameras and one sensor there. Uh, and like I said, quite a decent length of cable, which is great for me, because it's got a drop from the back of the TV all the way to the floor underneath my stand. And there you go, it's like a weird, odd-looking connector. Uh, and then we've got, obviously, the bracket itself. Uh, so this camera literally just clips in. So make sure it's the right way up by checking that the PlayStation logo is the right way up. And then this stand, you'll know which is the top, which is the right way because these symbols are your rubber feet to keep it still. So it will bend like so. This is the back of it, and that's where the cable will run. So we're just going to clip it in. That's it. As you can see, you can tilt it back and forth, and it's okay. You know, it's not an amazing stand, but it's what you get included. So I'm going to put this aside now, guys, and then we'll come back to that when we're setting it up. I'm not going to unbox it because it's a game, pretty straightforward. I'm just going to pop it in. There is going to probably be some downloads that we're going to have to download. I know that the PlayStation will be downloading some VR um, downloads, which we'll show you live, uh, and we'll go from there. So let's get to the main piece of equipment. So this retails at £349 here in the UK. And obviously different currencies will differ slightly. Uh, it's a brand new unit, so it's not reconditioned. They are quite hard to get a hold of still, even though they've been out for a year. Um, but that's because they are very good and it works fantastically well uh, with the PlayStation 4. So let's unbox this and have a look. There we go, so nice packaging just flops out there for you. Um, and there is the piece itself. So I'm going to zoom out a bit so you get kind of the immersion that I'm getting. Um, but this box basically flips out. It's got a little pulley, so it's quite a nice box. But the price I pay, you know, I expect these kind of things. So you've got your PlayStation VR setup guide. Now, I've already set one of these up before, so I'm not going to show you this. But obviously, people who are buying it have never set it up. I do recommend it. It is quite straightforward, and if you know what you're doing, you could probably get away with just trying it, trying and error. But I will walk you through the setup anyway. So I'm going to put this aside because we don't need it. Bit of a bubble up there to protect it. And as you can see, everything's numbered and it kind of tells you where things need to go. So we'll unbox it anyway. So in here, let's have a look what we've got. So we've got a, a figure of eight cable. So this is this VR kit does have a uh, little processing unit which kind of works alongside your PlayStation 4 to produce the image for the VR headset and also your TV so somebody if somebody's round they can watch you at the same time that does that bit of processing for it but all the game mechanics everything else like that is still done on the, P uh, the PS4's graphics unit there so you do get a little external brick for that so there's part A for it and then you lift it up itself your VR headset is just under there but we're going to just take this out as well. So in here will be the power brick. So we have an external power brick. Good, good, good lead on it, so it's good length. So there's the power brick. That goes alongside your figure of eight cable. So I'll put that just down there. You've got some free included headphones. Uh, they're okay. Obviously, you're better getting a headset, which I will be getting eventually. And we've got the USB cable, so it's just a USB to USB min uh, connector, just the same one you use to charge your PS4 remote. And then you have got the actual little unit itself. Now it's pretty cool. I am going to take it out of the plastic because it looks just like a PlayStation. So on the back of the device, you've got two HDMI's, so one in, one out. You've got your mini USB, which plugs into the PS4. You've obviously got your power input and a little fan to keep this little unit cool. This does slide back and forth, um, but on the other, the front of this is two HDMI cables, uh, and that goes to your VR headset. But it might more sense in a while when we set it all up. So I'll put that aside as well. And then we have got your demo disc. So it's great that they include this. Uh, you got to get some games on there which you can experience VR. Um, Resident Evil is up on there, but we've got a couple we'll just have a quick look at. So you've got VR Worlds, Drive Club, Tumble, uh, Battle Zone, which is meant to be pretty good, Headmaster, and etc. Uh, etc. Et so I'll put that aside as well. 
And then we've got some instructions, obviously some warranty information. Again, we're going to put those aside. You do get yourself a nice snazzy PlayStation VR microfiber. That's to clean your equipment, which is great to include. Uh, you've got your screen cleaner just there. That's awesome. And then we have got uh, two cables. So one set is to go to the VR headset. And you do also then get an extra HDMI included, so that's pretty nice. The length of this cable as well is pretty decent. Uh, more than enough for everyone's normal living conditions. So it's great that you've got a lot of length, which doesn't restrict you. Take this bit of cardboard out, and then you have the showstopper itself, the VR headset. So it's going to take this out nice and gently, well packaged, well protected. I'm just going to take it out the collar theme there. Um, but this is the headset itself. Wow, it's a fantastic bit of kit. So obviously behind here, uh, there is two screens, which is what you look at. These here are the LED lights. They illuminate blue, and that's how the camera can track you there. Obviously, you do get an adjustable headset, which is great. Obviously, you've got your lenses there. That's where your screens are. And then the connector cable, which connects into the box in a minute. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to get a bit of a better view. We're going to set you up on the PS4 and show you what you can kind of expect to get you going. Now, I will warn you, when you buy this, you won't be getting up. You won't be getting on straight away because there'll be downloads to download, updates, games to install, etc., etc. So let's get this all set up. So. As you can see, I've set up the camera to sit on the TV. The stand allows it to go on the TV, so that's fantastic. Uh, the cable then runs behind that TV down here. So my PS4 is underneath the stand. As I said earlier, I have a child and she wants to grab everything. Obviously, this is a very expensive piece of kit, so it's just easier to keep on the floor. It's well ventilated and she can't get to it. So this is the power unit itself. So this, like I said, is what controls the VR image and also the image to the TV. Now, there's a couple of cables, but they are very, very easy to understand. So, number one, as it is coded, you have two HDMIs, one for your TV, one for the PS4. So I simply took this one at the back of my PS4, plugged it into here, and used the supplied HDMI in the box from the little box into the back of the PS4. That's step one. Step two is the USB cable, which goes straight into the USB port on my PS4, as you can see. And then you have your power. Power is power, straightforward. That is the initial setup done for the PS4. So now we need to turn our attention to this monstrous cable here. So this has got the length. This is your main cable. So we're going to quickly open this. Um, and this is what will basically carry the feed from this little box to your VR headset. Now, um, yeah, now, it's a nice long cable, um, as you can see, a bit too long for what I need, but they have got this on the end, so I'm just going to cut these and we'll come back. Okay, guys, so there is two ends. We have this little block here. This is the final connector to the headset. So the headset has two HDMI ports, uh, and as you can see, they're there. And then the other two go into your little box here. So here, this slides back to reveal the ports. You align them basically, and there is little indicators on there. So you've got your you've got your triangle and circle, and that'll match them with these on here because these also have them, and they're also colour coded. So one's white, one isn't. So we're just going to slot those right in. Done. Slide it forward. That I can now put underneath. Um, as that is the setup process pretty much done uh, for me. Because this will be a permanent fixture. Um, I could just leave that there. And then the other end is where we get the VR. So let's bring the VR headset over. So. As you can see, there's loads of wires now, but that's fine. So just move that out of the way a second. Now, on here, you've got a little inbuilt mic section. Now, on here, there is some buttons, which I will show you now. So, here we have the power to turn the VR headset on or off. You have your microphone, mute or unmute, and your 
volume up and down. These buttons are slightly raised, so they are easy to identify. And then your 3.5 mil input jack for your headset with the Sony logo. And again, on here, you've got two cables. And again, this will correspond to this little black box here. And all you've got to do is line them up exactly the same. So you can see they match, so you're going to pop them in. That is it guys, so we're going to turn the PS4 on and we're going to set this up. I'm literally just going to leave the camera rolling so you can experience uh, exactly what I'm going to be seeing. So if I can just find my PS4 remote. I'm going to flip it to the TV. You will see a reflection, so I do apologise. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So I'm just going to see if you can see that, but there is a light... You're just about to see it on the little uh, box there, just like the PS4 to let you know it is working and active. The PlayStation is now switching on the TV. And like so, straight away, it's probably going to do some downloads because it's recognising the VR headset is coming in. There you go. So I'm just going to turn it on. Uh, oh, do apologise about that. <laughs> so I'm going to turn the headset on. You can hear the beep to acknowledge it. And now there is some lights changing uh, on the VR headset. And there you go. You must update your PSVR device software to 2.5, as mine has shipped with 2.0, which is fine. So we're going to press update now. And then we're going to press next. And that will now start. So I'm going to crack the game open, because again, there's probably going to be some updates for this game as well. And I need to give it a chance to install to my external hard drive and then hopefully uh, I will then be able to play it. So guys, um, this is kind of a look at the VR headset, what you can expect if you are going to purchase it. Um, it's no point me showing you the experience because you won't ever realise it until you buy one, but I can assure you it's one of the best experiences you will ever, ever, ever see. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Anything you want to know, just give me a shout and I will answer it as best as I can. Thank you very much.